Hello, so I thought it would be a good idea today just to do a full house tour. So we're going to go through the whole building and give you an idea of what the place is like at the moment. So it is now April of 2021. So we'll come in first to the hallway here. And I've still got some work to do here with scraping down there and another coat of paint on the floor or on the walls, I mean always quite like this so <laughs> I think that's kind of accurate to how the house is or at least particularly how the house was uh, a while ago so here is the bedroom and there's uh, some gaps in the wi window there you can see from when we got cement work done on this floor so this floor is relatively new but currently we're just using this room as well as as a sleeping space um, as somewhere to store some building equipment um, because there is good, a big, good bit of space that fireplace as far as I know has never really been used so it's still there though um, and now we'll go into the living room which is the obviously the main room to spend time in so I've been brushing rubble from the roof but there's still quite a lot there and this room is probably one of the more livable rooms in that there's the fireplace there's a we have the sunlight comes in in the afternoon through this window and then there's a little reading desk there with the typewriter and a guest book um what else do we have well yeah obviously the fireplace so at some point soon enough i'm hoping to put in a stove there because the open fire is lovely, but it's very, very inefficient and uses a huge amount of firewood, which I don't really like. Um, up there is sort of storage space for food and other items that I'm going to leave now because I'm heading out soon. Um, and down here is firewood storage. This was something that I just did um, over the last couple of days, opening out this space so there's more wood to fit firewood in and stack it properly. Um, and then there's linens here, and then linens up here. So before we go into the kitchen, I'm going to head upstairs here. So this opens out into a, another sleeping space. But as you'll see, it has also one of the main issues that the house has currently, and one of the things that I'm hoping to fix with the most urgency so we have this ladder here just for getting up here um, and it is the issue of mould and damp from the roof so the roof has uh, the roof has some issues because there are missing slates up there so I'm going to find out soon enough hopefully I need to get a couple of quotes but I expect that this um, section of the roof will need to be taken down and redone in some way we'll find out but if it is fixed up and we replace all this then i think this will make quite a nice sleeping space it's just enough about tall enough there in the very center to stand up in but not much it's a room for sleeping in not really for living in this is the water tank then and if we look in here, we took away some boards that have been here so we could examine the roof on this side of the house. So, here's a brief look inside. So there's no insulation or anything. As you can see, just uh, just poly. Um, so there's the slates are directly on top of that, I believe. Um, but as far as I can tell, there's no issues with water entering here but anyway that's the roof space over the living room and here's the living room again um so that's that's that uh, the sunlight generally comes in through this central window during the afternoon because it's south facing which is lovely it means this room is the best lit and that's the front window there but next we'll go into the kitchen 
So the kitchen is another room that I'll hopefully do a pretty extensive renovation on. Um, so the same time as the kitchen has been redone, I'll probably redo the electrics just because we probably want to put in a conventional oven with two hobs uh, where the current ovens are, where the kettle is there, and then a regular small fridge in the middle here as well, and then some other storage. Underneath this Belfast sink here, I'll hopefully get rid of this, uh, these blocks and put in a different support so we can store things underneath. And then here, hopefully, there'll also be a drying rack of some sort. But this is the kitchen anyway. Um, I've disconnected the gas that had been there because the can had run out, but also I've been informed by the internet and helpful people that that was a safety hazard. <laughs> So we're going to go to using fully electric for cooking now. And there's this overhead shelf. There's these windows I recently painted. And then this is also where some stuff is hanging. And also our drinking water and some food storage underneath it. Um, inside this little cubby also is more storage for other items, which um, I'll need to decide what to do with that space. Uh, go to the bathroom before coming back through the kitchen again. So the bathroom has been painted white recently um, and I think it helps but we also need to deal with the roof. Um, and there's some other little bits and pieces here. The plumbing will be redone at some point. Um, also it's an old thing, it's an old uh, toilet that uses up quite a lot of water. So I've put some things inside the tank so it doesn't use the full 9 litres but 9 litres of water is a lot for a flush, so need to change that. And then this is our paint storage for the moment. And then, oh yeah, those are the pipes, the water pipes, so they'll be redone at some point. Uh, back through the kitchen now. Um, over in this corner, we have random bits and pieces that I need to organise, some gardening equipment, things hanging here. It would be nice to have a more organised hanging setup. But I think also it might make sense for us to just put more outdoor storage. <laughs> Out here is the now finished gas can. This is the patio and is, this is probably actually a good time to explain the water system for the house. So the house doesn't have drinking water. What happens is the rain comes down the roof here, gets caught by the gutter, are the gutters and then the gutters from around the house all converge on this pipe here. They come down, water comes down through this pipe and into this uh, patio which is actually a very large water tank. So it's a meter or so deep down there um, and then when we want to have water uh, into the house and running through the system then this is plugged in I'll demonstrate this quickly. So I plug this out, plug this in, and then this pump comes from there. From all, that uh, pipe runs down to the bottom of the water tank, and it brings water then in here through this pump, and then up into the water tank that I showed you earlier. Uh, in the attic. So I'm going to plug that out. And then once that water tank is full, that means that there's uh, water that can be used within the house. But it's grey water, it's not um, usable for cooking or for uh, or for drinking. So that's where we have to go for, to neighbours for drinking water. Um, so then here is yeah the patio space that looks out onto the railway there. Uh, it's all a bit messy at the moment because I've got a lot of firewood I need to process um, and cut down to length. And once it's cut down, I'll be able to stack it over here. And over here is where I have my firewood storage. So there's firewood underneath here that's seasoning. Um, the base of this is an old uh, bed frame that we didn't have more use for. So it's, uh, yeah. It's always nice to be able to reuse stuff. Uh, this over here actually is basically the extent of the exterior plumbing system. We've got a vent 
here the vertical pipe is just for venting which I assume is for the septic tank and then these pipes that then run from the bath and I think there's another one that must run from the sink and then the sink in the kitchen both flow out into this and this should be draining down into what I'm assuming is an underground pipe running to a septic tank somewhere over there but I am not certain on that um, that's something I'm going to need to investigate over the next while uh, as for other things, uh, this is the backyard. I believe it's about one third of an acre. This was a pyramid shaped thing I made. If anyone has suggestions for what I should use it for, please let me know because I made it with no plants. Um, someone suggested that it would be good for growing runner beans on and I think that's the most uh, viable suggestion at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll keep walking back here a bit and just do a quick spin around to look at the house. So you can see on the top corner there is where I've had to do a hasty patch up job for the hole in the roof. So I need to get that fixed quite soon. And um, that's our electricity cable coming in here. So at some point in the near, or I think it should be in autumn, we should be able to get Wi-Fi to the house, which would be great and will make a big difference to the connectivity of the place. The walls are 75 centimeters thick, so obviously phone reception isn't the greatest. Um, keep walking back here, there's another sort of rear section to the garden, um, down here. So it's nice to have some trees to kind of give a natural separation to the space. Um, but there will be an issue now where I have stamped down all the nettles and brambles and such, but already the uh, the new shoots are appearing. So I think what I need to do here is get a goat in, or something, or get a herd of goats in, or something similar, uh, to prevent it all coming back to how it was before. But that's pretty much it for the house tour. Um, I hope that's helped people orient themselves within the space a bit more because I know the first video I showed a lot of stuff but I think seeing it all in one go makes it easier. So hope you enjoy. Uh, the next video will be a bit of a before and after showing what's been done so far compared to how things were. So I've got I've been going through uh, old hard drives and old photos and everything so I've found some old videos from 2016 as well, where you can see where things look very different. And I think the biggest thing we'll see a difference in is actually the backyard here, because previously that was up as far as basically the back door, just with hedge just growing in and stuff. So, hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you all in the next video.